which we do, we will pin our front end gateway and back end gateway to see their connectivity is established. This is our front end gateway. First, we go to its host file. As you could see, both of these entries should be here. This 168 is IP address for front end gateway. We need to provide its host name, then its uh, alias. In second line, uh, this one is the IP of backend gateway, then it's the host name of backend gateway, then it's the alias, that is BE gateway 11. Similar configurations I need to verify here on this backend gateway. I'm going to check this etc host file contents and both of these contents are there 168 for fe gateway and 169 for be gateway and the alias could be fe gateway 11.1 now i'm going to exit from this file also i'm going to exit from this file here Okay, I'm going to ping from front end gateway to back end gateway to see its connectivity. So this is our front end gateway. I have provided the IP uh, the alias of BE gateway. That's our back end gateway. I'm going to check its connectivity. As you can see, back end gateway is responding to ping. It's sending the data and shake is established. I'm uh, pressing Control and C together to terminate this session. As I could see, 11 packets transmitted successfully, 11 received, and 0% packet loss. Now I'm going to backend gateway. Here we will ping our front end gateway. I'm writing here ping fv gateway 11.gunir to see its connectivity the backend is accessing the front end as you could see connection is established and data is received from front end gateway if i press ctrl c it would say how many number of packets as it's saying 14 packets transmitted successfully 14 of them received zero percent packet loss and 1301 is uh, 1301 millisecond is the time this means our connection is established. We can access both of these gateways, front end and back end, with this ping command. Next step is you can ping from your command prompt in your local OS. For this, you need to go to a file that is here in Windows System32 drivers, etc., and post file that is located here. You need to open it up. You need to select an editor and then with this editor you need to paste these two lines there what this is gonna do this will add the host entry for your OS for both of these gateways to be accessible from command prompt I'm adding these uh, contents there I have successfully added the contents due to security reasons I have paused the video because I have some other IPs address configured there now you can go to this command prompt, run as admin. Now I am pinging our front end gateway. As you could see, there is no packet loss, 0% packet loss is here and I'm able to ping from my local OS to the VM. This is CA. API layer 7 gateway 11 and this is backend gateway 11. Uh, I have accessed this front end now I'm pinging this backend gateway. As you could see this one is also successful. So in this video we have learned how to ping our two gateways. You could ping as many gateways that are in host file uh, within your VMs. So uh, the first test was successful, later on we have learned how to 
setting your gateways from command prompt uh, for this you have established a settings going through this post file of your OS and then we have tested it from your command prompt that is working we can also use powershell to do this that's end of this video thanks for watching